Now with Banks as one of his middle names, Gordon Marshall just had to be a goalkeeper. His career took another turn last month when he signed for Kilmarnock after seven seasons with Celtic. Relegated to third choice keeper, he made the decision to move on and ironically makes his league debut against his former club tomorrow. Changed days for the former Celtic keeper, but Gordon Marshall has had no second thoughts about his decision to leave a club which could be heading for the treble. Things change very quickly. You can be involved one minute and then out the next. Um, when, I, when I got left out and Jonathan came in, who's done very well since he's been in, um, you have to look at the whole picture once again. And, uh, I then decided when Stuart Kerr was fit, I was then uh, third in line for a game which was no good for me. I was getting, I'm getting near at the end of my career. I want to enjoy it and come on, have given me the chance and hopefully I can repay them. Will you ever have any regrets about what might have been at Celtic Park? No, no regrets. Uh, I've got a lot of good memories. Uh, I learnt a hell of a lot there. Um, it's time to move on. I have moved on and I hope to have as, as many memories and, uh, and good memories here at Kilmarnock. Saturday's cup defeat, though, by local rivals Air United, is one memory Marshall and the team will want to forget. Saturday was a huge disappointment. Um, since we've come down, the, the cup has uh, always added a bit of excitement that I've noticed since I've been down here. Obviously, with them being the holders, uh, the supporters were very excited about the games and the derby game, everything was building up. We were looking very confident, feeling very confident, and then we get slapped in the mud as <laughs> the way the state of the park was and everything, you know, things didn't work out well for us. So now we've got to concentrate on the league. And it's back to Celtic Park for Marshall for the first time. He's had his ups and downs there, but now it's all about Kilmarnock and making his mark with them. He's very competent with the back pass, his distribution's very good, he takes high crosses well. And uh, he's a formidable big lad if a striker's right through and he's got him, to be, he can fill the goal. So. As I said, I've got belief in his ability and so has Gordon and uh, the rest of the lads will get confidence from that. And confidence does remain high at Rugby Park despite that cup defeat and Marshall for one has no qualms about denting Celtic's title aspirations. It's a big game, um, 50,000 folk, so we'll be looking to improve all round and hopefully come away with something. And that's, and that's our intentions, we're not going there to um, make up the numbers, we're going there to put on a good performance and hopefully come away with three points which, which we need uh, and I'm sure Celtic, well they obviously do need it for the championship race uh, but come on, I still aren't out of the championship race so. <laughs> the Premier. Let's get the story then of that Celtic win over uh, Kilmarnock at uh, Celtic Park. It was very much the Harold Bratback show. John Barnes reports. It certainly was, Dougie. This match was all about Harold Bratback as he netted all four goals as Celtic maintained their title challenge at the expense of Kilmarnock. And although Bratback recorded a sensational afternoon in style, he could and should have scored more. He twice hit the post and three times was denied one-on-one -on -one with Gordon Marshall. You could also say there was a distinct suspicion of offside for the Norwegian's first goal in 11 minutes when he slotted home Larsson's pass, but there was no disputing the others. The Killy defence were caught square on each occasion Celtic found the back of the net. Bratback's first three goals were all tap-ins, the second from a Burley pass in 36 minutes and the third from a Donnelly cutback in the 70th minute. Then three minutes from the end, a sweeping move involving Burley, Jackson and uh, Donnelly ended with Bratback drilling a low left foot strike past Gordon Marshall and that made the final scoreline Celtic 4, Kilmarnock 0. Yes, good afternoon for Celtic. They now trail Rangers only on goals scored. All